What is going on you guys? My name is Peyton and if you guys are anything like me, I actually had no idea what Bitcoin was. All I heard was, you know, it's going crazy. You have to buy, buy, buy. And then all of a sudden, you know, in 2017 it crashed. And then now you're hearing it again. You're going, hey, is this the real deal? And so in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you why it is the real deal or why it's not. I'm going to try to give it as an unbiased perspective as I can. However, keep in mind, I have skin in the game. And so naturally, I'm just going to be biased. And, you know, I'm some random guy on YouTube. So do your own research before you buy in. But hopefully this video is of worth to you. And let's get right into it. In 2009, this man named Satoshi created what we now call the Bitcoin. And this was to oppose the governments and regulations of fiat money. And so what he did was he created an online currency, what we call cryptocurrency. And when he did this in 2009 to 2013, all the way pretty much to 2017, everyone thought it was a complete joke and it was worth pennies on the dollar. So there's all these stories where people are out here buying burgers with 500 Bitcoin, what would now be worth millions of dollars. So it's like the million dollar burger or, you know, they're just handing out cryptocurrencies to their friends. Um, so that's kind of the history of it. Satoshi is an absolute genius for creating this. I'm gonna kind of go down on what exactly Bitcoin is and why it's worth value. But for now, that is the history. So in order to figure out why cryptocurrency and Bitcoin has value nowadays, we have to take a look back at currency in general and why it's worth anything. And so currency in general, is equal to any sort of value. And so back in the day, our dollar used to be backed by gold. People would carry around gold plates, gold bars, and they would chip off, you know, little little dusts of gold in order to trade for, you know, a Snickers bar, <laughs> which they obviously had back in the day. And that got to a point to where they were just annoyed with it. They said, you know what, I don't want to carry around a gold bar. So then they created money. Basically, this was a representation of the value of the gold bars. And then all of a sudden the government started printing more money and there wasn't enough gold to back it. So then the government just basically said that, you know what, we'll cover it. You don't have to worry about it. Every place that has, that sells things, you need to take money. And so people put their trust in the government and that's why money has value. In a really summed up way, if enough people look at something and they say that that has value, then that one thing does indeed hold value. All right, so stick with me here for a second. This will be kind of a long-winded conversation here. But in order to see why a lot of people think that Bitcoin holds value, we have to understand how Bitcoin works. And so I'm going to start off by saying that Bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency which means that it's not held by one single government or one single person. It's made up of a whole bunch of different people, whoever holds the Bitcoin. And so it's not central, it's dispersed throughout a whole bunch of different people. Next, it's a cryptocurrency, so that means that it's an online currency. And so that makes a whole lot of sense nowadays because everything is going towards online. The next key piece is that it has a transparent ledger. And this basically means that anyone and everyone can see the transactions that go through. They're not held behind locked doors and you can see what is coming in and what is flowing out. The transparent ledger is where blockchain comes into play. And there's a whole bunch of encryption and decryption that comes with the transparent ledger because you don't want just everything out in all plain sight. You want to have people being able to back it and say that, yes, this transaction did indeed happen, but you don't want all of the information out there. That's why there's encryption and decryption, and that's where blockchain and Bitcoin miners come into play. So basically, these transactions are put into blocks, and then these blocks are then mined by Bitcoiners with their computers, their algorithms, um, you know, their electricity, all that, th all of that sort of stuff. And as soon as they complete a block of transactions and they decrypt a block of transactions, then they get a Bitcoin. They're rewarded with the Bitcoin. And that is why Bitcoin essentially holds value. All right. I got really serious there. <laughs> that was just really intense. Uh, I just really want to get the point across. So <laughs> hopefully it didn't come across as too scary, but that's essentially 
what Bitcoin is and why people believe that it holds value. And that's really pretty cool to me. Now, for the exciting part, why Bitcoin is blowing through everybody's roofs right now, dropping in and absolutely destroying people's roofs. First reason, we are in $30 trillion of debt with China right now. How do you think that we're going to pay that off? Well, an interesting hypothesis is that we are going to hyperinflate the dollar. Let me give you an example. Let's say that 30 years ago, your grandma lended you $100. And you said, okay, grandma, you know, that's a, that's a lot of money right now. I'm not gonna be able to pay, pay you right now, but you know, 30 years from now, I'll pay you. $100 now is not as much as $100 was 30 years ago. So it's a lot easier to pay your grandma $100 right now versus 30 years ago. And that's essentially what we're gonna do with the dollar. And if we do 5% inflation every single year and we hyperinflate it, that $30 trillion, that's nothing, it doesn't matter. And so your dollar, my dollar, everyone's dollar will be worth a ridiculously less amount than it is worth right now. So to oppose this, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin is not, it doesn't have anything to do with the valuation of the dollar and it isn't affected by inflation whatsoever because it is a decentralized currency. So that is why a lot of people are getting into Bitcoin right now. Number two, why Bitcoin is going nuts is because big corporations are starting to get involved. 2017 was a whole different story. It was people like me and you that were going, oh my gosh, buy Bitcoin, it's gonna to go to a million dollars. Now corporations are seeing, wow, this actually holds value and it's it's a legitimate thing. It's not gonna go away, I don't think. And people are seeing that it is of value. Um, Pay PayPal started accepting it on their app. Uh, Square is putting some of their money into it. Uh, grayscale, micro strategies, all these different big corporations are starting to put money and invest their part of their portfolio into cryptocurrency and into Bitcoin. The whole thing with the pandemic is basically just speeding all of this up. It's really ramping up right now and it's gonna get really interesting within the next couple of years. I'm really interested to see. I put a poll out the other day uh, where I was like, oh, do you think Bitcoin will go to 10K? or to 40K and there's like a 70% response rate of it was going to 40K. And you know, a couple months later, lo and behold, we could just get there before January 1st. So stay tuned. It's a nuts time to be alive. So just appreciate every second of it. We could see the next currency be made right before our very own eyes. The third reason isn't even a reason, it's a story that I just happened to come upon and it's Russell Okung and he's a offensive lineman for the Panthers and he got his salary in Bitcoin. He got a salary half in Bitcoin and half in US dollars and it's the first ever in history. I personally invested a thousand dollars into Bitcoin because I saw the potential. The potential was it could go to 400,000 or it could go to zero. And you know what, if I lose out on a thousand dollars, I don't really care. But I just didn't wanna miss out on the potential of having the opportunity to have $400,000. So whatever money you can afford and you don't have to kind of freak out about, and you can just put it away and you just don't even forget, you can just forget about it. And then you come back to it five to 10 years later and oh my gosh, all of a sudden you have this stack of cash that's the way to do it. So that's why I invested in Bitcoin. I kind of see where it's going. The online future is definitely here. So why wouldn't our currency be online? Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. There's a lot of information packed in. It's kind of serious. I got a little serious there for a second. But if you like this video, it took a lot of time. This was actually my second take. I deleted the first one. It took a lot of time. I would greatly appreciate just a thumbs up or subscribe if you like this video and you guys want to see more of my future videos. So that's been it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.